Hello everyone, and I hope that you're having a beautiful day. My name is Robin, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is something new that I'm kind of starting um, out with, so I hope you guys take the time to uh, click the bell button so you can act with me through my lives and actually get the videos. The other thing would be take the time to comment and say, hey, I watched this video, I liked it, or you know what, this wasn't my favorite video, and that's okay. There's no hard feelings. And the other thing that I would suggest you do is take the time to go onto my Robin's Healing Facebook as well, because often I'll go on and I'll do things that I don't do here on YouTube. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And Instagram's also a perfect place I find where underneath my story I'm putting a lot of lives on there. So you're just getting like a tidbit here and a tidbit there, which I think is really helpful for you guys. So be sure to take the time, if you enjoy these things, to follow me on Instagram. Again, let me know that you watch the video or take the time to like the video so I can see that people are actually enjoying the, um, the energy that I'm putting out there. And uh, let's get on with this, let's get on with this weekly. So we're doing um, setting intention for anyone that's watching, no matter on what platform they're on. And it could be a family member that you share this with that isn't on Facebook or however that happens. But just be mindful that the energy spreads out to others. So even if you have it on the in the background, that energy is going to amplify, which is fantastic. So we're looking at the energy of June 14th through to June 20th. And so right away we know that on June 10th, we had a new moon. And that new moon attached to it was the solar eclipse. And I know for myself, when eclipse energy comes around, it's very, very like powerful. It changes me. So when I'm, I'm having a new moon with, with major, major change, I know that something's going to come out of me and I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's coming out. And so for myself, what I'm feeling for us in particular with the weak energy combined with this new moon, I get to focus. So although some of us might be quite driven and get excited about things, which is great, there's also this need to just, you know, slow down and focus. So getting together with other people who are like-minded or even people that trigger you a little bit, just a tiny bit, not a lot, right now is okay because what you're going to find is everything's just going to come up to the surface and it's going to teach you a lesson. So this week, if you can start looking at, okay, what are some of the lessons? Um, you know, how am I handling myself during difficult situations? I know for myself, when I think about all the um, the planning and the, for me the scheduling and things that I'm not, I'm just only still a new business owner and things like that, I'm wondering, okay, like these are sometimes tasks that I need to hire people to do. Um, so that's for myself. I'm looking to start having employees. So for yourself, it might be just like a coworker that you work with that you kind of might have butted heads with and now all of a sudden you guys are starting to like get on the same page with each other. Um, or it could be that you're looking to attract um, new people into your life, which means you need to also get rid of people who, you know, have been kind of wasting your time and energy as well. So these are things that we want throughout the week to start looking deeper into. I'm not pulling cards, but I will get you one thing that I created, and I feel like it's a little fun. So, I did a little painting with someone that's not feeling very well. So I said, you know what, let's get out the paints, and let's do a little something something. And what's interesting is, um, so if we read the energy of the painting, because that was the, in the intention that we're able to um, consider different approaches through art in terms of how we can see things in different ways through clairvoyance. Um, meaning clear seeing what your eyes are drawn to. Maybe it um, could be roses or fireballs here. Um, for me, I see a person actually here. This is their head and their feet or their legs. And their legs, they don't look like they're working properly, okay? Which connects to me. So if you think about something for yourself this week that isn't working for you, that you would like to change, start looking deeper into that, okay? Is it your money mindset? Are you struggling with um, addiction? Um, 
you know, what are you consuming and how much are you consuming of it? For a lot of people, they're actually not consuming enough in their day. Um, so whatever that means for you. And um, so rather than sometimes looking at like what we're doing too much of, and maybe it's what we're not getting enough of as well. So when I look at these fireballs here, I want to I want to slow down even when I look at this these fireballs that tells me there's a lot going on okay where we are in the eclipse season absolutely there's just like things are just happening um, and again this is out of our control so this is telling me that to um, to hold yourself to nurture yourself when things are out of your control because um, rather than being upset about it just like ask yourself okay like how can I hold myself more you know, what can I do for me? So it's not a selfish energy to take good care of yourself. So this week is telling us to really start looking inward at how we can start heal, healing on a deeper level. And also getting an angelic energy here with the sky and with this like person energy. They're doing a lot of work. So to me, that's saying to ask for more help as well. Um, especially where I was just talking about like a new employee. So it might be like, okay, well, like, have I, you know, taken time to get healing sessions? Um, have I considered um, doing different healing mo modalities, things like that, okay? So it's really opening up your center, which is your solar plexus. And um, for people that don't know what the solar plexus is, there's no yellow in this, and solar plexus is yellow. And right before I went to bed last night, I was seeing flashes of yellow. I said, this is going to be significant. I said that to myself, um, but I knew that it would come come up in some form. And sure enough, it's coming up in here. It's, it's about when you feel like you're lacking something, go, again, go towards what, how you can change it. Um, crystal healing seems really significant for the group that's watching today. And I think it's because they might not be getting enough again of what they need. So think about that throughout your week, um, how this relates to you. Absolutely share, let me know. I'd love to hear. Maybe you like the painting. Maybe it doesn't make any sense to you. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Namaste and God bless.